Howdy, Governor Mitch Landrieu from the state of Louisiana. Where are we? We're at. What did you ask us? All right. <laughs> so I'm coming in from Austin, Texas, and wanted to ask you a couple of questions about how y'all went about the uh, all the film incentives and how that's changed your film industry in the state. Well, it's completely changed. I mean, you know, a couple of years ago, we did what every other state did, which was try to get the movie industry to come in here and film movies about Louisiana. And what we decided to do is completely change that model and try to become a, a production hub. And the way we did that was we created a tax incentive program that when you get through all the details, it basically means that it's cheaper to film here than it is anywhere else in America outside of Los Angeles. And as a result of that, the folks that make the decisions about where to go came here. Mm -hmm. And so it worked out well when they came here, they liked it. And they were worried about whether we had a crew base that was deep enough. So we started training our crews. Uh, in the last couple of years, we've gone from doing a $30 billion book of business a year to a seven to $800 million book of year. Just in the last year, we've done 56 major motion pictures in the state of Louisiana. And now it's fair to say that we're probably the, an international competitor. We'll probably fall only behind Los Angeles, maybe New York every now and then. You know, we're doing pretty well. We're really proud of the work we've done. Fantastic. We're, we're feeling it in Austin, Texas, and in Texas in general. Um, in fact, our publication this week is running a, an article on crew flights. So are you seeing a lot of crews from outside of Louisiana come in, not just indigenous and homegrown crews, but are you seeing a lot of them? Yeah, there's some of it that's happening. Of course, what we'd like to do is try to employ people who are from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you get the tax credit if the dollar you spend is spent in Louisiana for a Louisiana worker. There have been a number of, a number of other states that have tried to do this as well, and a couple of them have. New Mexico has a pretty aggressive program. I think Colorado's working on it. Uh, Connecticut, I know, is working on it as well. But it's one of those things that not every legislature has an appetite for. Some people think that the investment's not worth it. We happen to think it is. And, uh, you know, if you've had this debate, you've had the same debate in Texas about casino yeah, gambling. Texas said, no, we don't really want it. I think you've done the same thing. With yeah. We made different decisions here about it. The economic impact has been pretty positive. We've created about 3,000 jobs. But there is an ongoing debate some legislators have. About, is, it, is it worth it? I think it is. I think it makes perfect sense, primarily because it fits so nice with some of the other indigenous businesses that we have. What are you looking most forward to seeing at Jazz Fest while you're here? You know what? It's, it's, it's just, that's so impossible. I mean, you just come in and just take in the, in the totality of the experience. And this is hard to imagine unless you're here, but, you know, South by Southwest is an interesting experience because you have bands that are in clubs, but they're inside, sometimes they're outside. But here, everything is outside and it's very close together, so you have the confluence. I mean, in one spot of five different types of music in your ears. Like you right walk, now? Like right, like right now. You can walk over to the stage and get a, you can really get a taste of anything here. What's interesting is that in all the different genres of music, right behind us is basically Zydeco, here is Congo Square, then you have you know your R&B tent, then you have your gospel tent, then you have your just run-of-the-mill Bruce Springsteen mm -hmm. kind of program. You know, that manifests itself a bunch of different ways, but this is much more of an event than, than a music festival. Every restaurant in the state is here, you know, so we have thousands of jobs that are outside right now, and it's really kind of all the culture of Louisiana all coming together at once. And it's a wonderful experience. And I love the message of your shirt, Dirty oh, Coast, you. represent. Yeah, I love it. that means Very everybody's a New Orleanian, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. All right, sir. Thank it you does. so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. It's great all right. To see you. Yeah, I appreciate take care. it. All right. Thank you so we'll much. See you. All right. All right.